Hi, this is Tommy from Systems for Dentists. And in this video, I'll demonstrate how you're able to chart supernumerary teeth. The first way I'll demonstrate is via the Chart tab. I'll select the Layout button. From here, you can change the status of all the teeth on the chart. I'll check the Show Supernumeraries box. I can then select a supernumerary and change the status from Unerupted, Partially Erupted, Present, Missing and Retained Root. I'll change the status of the lower right for supernumerary to present. Note that on the chart, the two lower right four teeth are displayed one on top of the other. In order to view both, I can apply some movement. Select the movement button, then select the tooth on the chart. I can select one of the teeth and enter values in the mesial, occlusal and labial boxes to show some movement on the chart. I can also indicate any rotation from here if necessary. On clicking save, I can now see that both the regular and the supernumerary tooth are viewable on the chart. The other way to add supernumeraries is from the treatment tab. If I click in the area between the tooth and the tooth surfaces, the same window that I used earlier is displayed. From here, I can show supernumeraries, change the tooth status and apply some movement. I'll click save. Again, I can see that both teeth are now displayed on the chart. Thanks very much for watching this video. For more videos, as well as a series of useful FAQ how-to guides, please see our website.